In this video, I'd like to work through the example of building a compound or building a truth table for a compound statement that contains three uh, simple statements. So in this case, let's say for example, for example, build a truth table. Build a truth table for the compound statement. And let's go with uh, P or R, that's P disjunction R implies, that's the conditional, uh, P and not Q. Okay, so we're, we're using the disjunction, the conjunction, the negation, and the conditional here. So before we actually work through the problem, previously, uh, particularly in my last video about building a truth table, we had a compound statement that involved two simple statements. So when we build a truth table, it's simple it's the simple statements on the left truth values for the simple statements and then on the right it's the truth values for the compound statement okay and we look at all possible combinations of those simple statements on the left. So if we have two simple statements, well, the first one could be true and the second one could be true, or the first one could be true, the second one could be false, or the first one could be false, the second one could be true, or, nope, not true, both statements could be false. And then the values, the overall values for the compound statement, it's going to be four values that are either true or false. Okay, so each each one of these is either going to be a true or a false, true or false, and so on. And so these in, in red, whether it's a true or a false for each, each one of these four, that's sort of the, the final answer for the problem. Okay, so now that we have three compound or three simple statements, now we have a P, a Q, and an R. Well, now we have to account for all possible scenarios between those three statements. And so let's think about this. If we look at if we if we look at just this this first case where both statements are true. Well, now we have a P, a Q and an R and we're looking for the truth values for the compound statement P or R implies P and not Q. Okay so like above the P and the Q could both be true but now there's two options for the value that R could be. So those two trues, well, they could be followed by a third true, or those two trues could be followed by a false. So basically what happens is each one of the four rows in the truth table involving two simple statements, well, that splits into two rows. So it's going to be double the size. So row one, the two trues, that could be followed by a true or a false. The second row, the true false, that could be followed by a true or a false and so on. The, the false true could be followed by a true or a false and then the false false could be followed by a true or a false. Okay, so those are the eight rows of our uh, true table for this compound statement. Okay, so I think that's enough background, so let's go ahead and build the truth table for this compound statement. And again, we're, we're looking at this statement, P or R implies P and not Q. Okay, so we'll, we'll set the truth table up, P, Q, and R. So those are, those are our simple statements. So P and Q could both be true, and that could be followed by a true or a false. 
P could be true and Q could be false. And that could be followed by a true or a false. P could be false and Q could be true. And that could be followed by a true or a false. Or P and Q could both be false. And that could be followed by a true or a false. And I'll just throw in some, not necessary, but I'll throw in some some horizontal lines just to keep keep everything straight as we go through this uh, truth table. Now we have four logical connectives here in the in the compound statement. We have a negation, we have a conjunction, a disjunction, and a conditional. And so the way I the way I organize these truth tables, basically the, the, the work involved before you get your final answer. So the final answer is going to be that last column once we're, we're, we're done in, in incorporating all of these logical connectives. Uh, I always start with the negations first. So let's let's do this logical connective first. And then I work inside parentheses to outside. You know, just like normal order of operations in algebra. So we'll do those, the, the, the uh, disjunction and the conjunction inside. And finally, on the outside of the parentheses, we'll do this conditional last. Now, there's four logical connectives, four operations. So there's going to be four columns in this truth table. So let's start with a column for the negation, a column for not Q. Okay, so I'm going to use red, actually, to show which symbol I'm working with at each step. Let's give this a little bit more room. Okay, so for this column, we're focusing on the Q column. So we're taking each truth value in the column that we have for Q, and we're giving the negation of that one. So we have when Q is true, the negation is false. And again, when Q is true, the negation is false. When Q is false, the negation of that is not Q. So that's true, true. Here we have a true and a true. So the negation would be a false and a false. And here we have a false and a false. So the negation would be a true and a true. Okay, so we've uh, we've got a column for the negation. Next, we're going to do the disjunction or the or. So we'll have a column for P or R. And I'll do again in red because we're using the or. Let me erase that arrow. And in this step of the problem, we're looking at the P column and the R column. And we're connecting those with a disjunction, with an OR. So remember, with the, with the disjunction, with the OR, two trues make a true, one true and one false make a true. And the only way that an OR statement could be false is if you have two falses. So we've got when uh, P is true and R is true, P or R is true. When P is true and R is false, the disjunction is also true. Remember, only we only get a false if we have two falses. For the third row, P is true, R is true, so that's a true. Fourth row, P is true, R is false, so again, that's a true. Fifth row, P is false, R is true, so that is a true. Sixth row, it looks like they're both false. P is false and R is false. So false or false equals false. Next, P is false, R is true. So one true makes a true. And finally, in the, six, in the eighth row, P is false, R is false. So P or R is false. Okay, so now we have the other uh, 
set of parentheses, we have the conjunction, the and inside there. So let's do P and not Q. So we're connecting the P with the not Q and we're using an and. So we are looking at the P column and the not Q column and we're connecting those with an and. So remember with the conjunction or the and, when you combine uh, two simple statements, the only way to get a true is to have two trues. If there's at least one false in there, the total overall value is false. So two trues make a true, anything else is a false. Okay, so we have for the first row, when P is true, that's here, and not Q is false, that's a true and a false equals false. Second row, when P is true, not Q is false. Again, that's false. In the third row, P is true. Not Q is also true, so two trues make a true. Same thing with the fourth row, when P is true, not Q is true, we get true. Fifth row, P is false, so I know it's false. As soon as there's one false, the overall value is false, so the last four values of P are all false, so the conjunction will be false. Okay, and then finally, we could deal with that conditional, that if then on the outside. So now we're taking the column for P or R and the column for P and not Q, and we're connecting those with an if then, with a conditional. Now remember with the conditional, that one was a little bit tricky with the conditional, true first, true second equals true. True first, false second, equals false. But false first and true second, that also equals true. And false first and false second, that also equals true. So the only way to get a false is to have a true statement first and a false statement second. Okay, so we're, we're looking at the columns for the P and the P or R, that's this column, the P and not Q, which is this column, and we're connecting them with a conditional. So true first, false second, that equals false. True again, row two, true first, false second, that's false. True first, then true second. So if true, then true. That's true. And again, for the fourth row, true first, false second. That's another false. Two falses. So if false, then false. That is actually a true statement. Seventh row, true first, false second. That's another false. And if false, then false. So two falses make a true. Okay, so those three columns in the middle, that's, that's just sort of the, the, the scrap work or the, the work involved. So the actual truth table involves the simple statements on the left and the final answer is that column on the right. Those three columns in the middle, that's just your work that gets you to the final answer. Okay, so again, every one of these steps was based on those definitions, those truth table definitions of those logical connectives, of the negation, of the disjunction, of the conjunction, and of the conditional. So you're always referring back 
to those definitions which tell you what the result is when you apply one of those operations to one or two sort of input statements. Okay, that does it for this example. I hope it was helpful.